Sean, what is the fear? And I don't say this uh, cynically. Fear is powerful in politics. My suggestion is that this president scares people in your party. Not like I'm going to hurt you. Nothing thuggish. I will beat you if you go against me. I will come where you live and I will run someone against you. I will come to where you are toe for toe and you will lose like Sanford did. Is that the pull for people? No. So I think you're, I think you're absolutely wrong, Chris. I think uh, people don't you know, gravitate towards Donald Trump because they fear him. They gravitate towards him because they love him. They love the policies that he's fighting for. We're a party of lifers. We believe, you know, we believe in life, not late-term partial birth abortions. We believe in secure borders. We believe in fair trade. We believe in limited government. Donald Trump has fought for all those things, and that's why people love him. No one's afraid of him. And if there, I mean, people who disagree with him, and Charlie was one even when he was in Congress, would say he disagrees. Murkowski feels like she can say she disagrees. The, the, the difference, though, is people, people love him, and they love the results of the policy. So I don't think it's fear at all, Chris. Um, it's love and affection for a president who has stood up and fought for the principles that Republicans believe in. And by the way, we've had, we've had presidents and leaders who said, I believe in all these things that you Republicans believe in. They run on that, and then they never do when they get into office. Donald Trump has actually kept his promises, and for that he has a 90% promise to pass Donald a tax Trump. cut that he Donald wouldn't Trump. pay for, and a trade policy that makes a mockery of conservative thinking for the last 50 well, years. But Charlie, well, are you, you, you buy the love thing? But, okay. Donald, Donald